Uh, this is uh, Arun from Gems Polytechnic College. I uh, welcome you all to this video. In this video, we are going to see some uh, introduction of automobile. So this subject is on automobile engineering as per the SBT syllabus. So just see this video and uh, share the uh, your thoughts and your feelings uh, through this video which you are getting on the commands. Okay. So first it is automobile engineering. The code is 1625505. This is uh, as per the SBT syllabus Bihar. So this video will help for, for those who are studying diploma in mechanical and also the diploma in automobile engineering. So we continued and this uh, video will help you to know about the introduction of on automobile. Okay, and this is the first lecture of mine. So after one by one, I am going to release some important subjects and also some chapters which is included in the syllabus as per the SBD. And my name is Arun Pandian, and I am an assistant lecturer in mechanical department of Gems Polytechnic College, Aurangabad, Bihar. So, content of the lecture: what we are going to see in this video, and what I am going to explain like that. Okay. So first, I am going to we are going to see the course objective of automobile engineering. What is the course objective of automobile engineering? This whole video is an introduction of automobile engineering subject. Okay, so uh, what is the course objective of automobile engineering? We are going to learn number two, introduction of automobile engineering subject. Number three, syllabus of automobile engineering. The syllabus already I uh, previously I told the syllabus I have taken. I just chosen from uh sbt bihar syllabus okay and the fourth one we are going to see explanation of the topics in syllabus each topic what we are going to see i'm just giving this going to give us overview outer layer of the uh, syllabus and next we are going to see the jobs and the last one is course outcome okay if i've learned this job what will be i when when i finish this course what i can do okay Objective. Okay, what are the course objective of this automobile engineering subject? First one is conversant with fundamentals with automobile systems and its components. Okay, see automobile engineering means I have to know A to Z if I'm uh, A to Z of the uh, automobile components uh, means if I choose only engine, I have to know the top wall to bottom tank. I have to know from top to bottom what is inside, what rings are inside, what valves are inside, what bushes are inside, what screws are inside. Like that, I have to know complete details of the components. For that, the automobile engineering in diploma will give you a fundamental knowledge of the vehicle components. Next one, understand basics of vehicle maintenance. Okay, so again I'm chilling, it will give you the only the basics of vehicle maintenance i think simply if you see if you see uh, if i ask you if i ask you do you know how to puncture how to repair how to repair the chain bracket okay otherwise if the vehicle is punctured how to uh, how to see that how to maintain it how to uh, how to puncture how to see the puncture okay so this this is a small small vehicle maintenance in leaving this all these are the basics okay leaving this all it will give you the overview the small small parts maintenance and this will give you the basics of the vehicle maintenance number three learn causes of automobile emission and future alternative vehicle what causes will happen what emissions are happening and how can i overcome it how can i alternate how can i alterate it like that small small you know, we are going to learn this course uh, this is the course objective of automobile engineering subject and the fourth one is distinguish between various types of transmission system and rear axles okay so what are the transmission systems and where it is fixed like that we are going to see the last one is identify the need and usage of suspension wheels and electrical system 
okay so suspension system we are going to see wheels what are the wheels we are using we are going to see an electrical system like battery ignition system how we are going using it like maker processor system how we are using on it like that we are going to see and then why it is called automobile from where the name came automobile name from where it came i given some details he came up with the name automobile see the auto word is a greek word and the mobile is word is latin word okay i can i'm telling the auto word is greek word and mobiles word is greek word so auto means self mobiles means uh, moving self moving why it is called as self moving if you see before so much of years back on that time horses are used for the transportation from one place to another another whatever it may be for the load carriage or people transportation or uh, loads transportation whatever it may be okay so when it was changing it when it is transporting from one place to another place the horses was used so they will put some horses two three horses four horses in a single vehicle a single cart why depending upon the load how much load the vehicle is having depending upon that they will add the horses till now if you see if you ask what is the power of engine you will say at hp if it is 1000 hp or 500 hp or 100 hp whatever it may be 1000 hp 1000 horse power it means uh, the power for the 1000 horse how much it will be have that power is inside this engine that is only the main uh, that is the meaning of 1000 hp hp means horse power that is why on that days horses was used for the moving from one place to another place when mobiles came automobiles means self moving it will move selfly no need of horse without need of horse it will move selfly that is automobile means self moving next we are going automobile first motorized vehicle consisting of four wheels or two wheels or three wheels whatever it may be powered by an internal engine that is important internal the combustion will happen inside the engine and then the power comes outside that is the main point that is important internal engine so this internal engine this internal engine that is important number second one is automobiles are used to, to transport people and items from one location to another location from one place to another place for the transporting it we are using the automobiles next one is after years or various designs inventors were able to develop a functional general design in which in automobile that is utilized by major automakers as the foundation of their designs okay so the functional general design of automobile it used to make a big big designs big big things to in automobile industry automobiles generally use gasoline to fuel the internal engine gas fuel like that we are using the as a internal for the combustion of internal engine but nowadays we are using water and electricity for the uh, combustion to activate or to run the engine automobile industry what are the steps in automobile industry first step is innovation and inventions identify something else otherwise think in your mind something and invent it and in re and just apply it uh, to if you want any changes in engine clutch gearbox that will be I'll come as a, if you change it if it is successful if it is coming outside it means it is a new design okay so nowadays if you see in every cars everything else there will be small change and it will come out as a new design okay so that is innovation and inventions second one mass production so the mass production what is the you know, auto industry if you see i think you all of you know tvs company in tvs if you see there are if there is for example i'm telling if there is 100 companies out of 100 only 20 companies are 
will come under the bike companies or car or car like that but uh, leaving the 20 companies back balance 80 companies it will come under only the it will come under only uh, what you say uh, components okay miscellaneous components it will come under only the miscellaneous components so uh, if you see tvs their production bold and nuts they are giving the washers they are giving the valves uh, for the engines they are giving uh, small small means this uh, sorry disc brakes they are giving their production is happening and caliper drum brake production is happening so these are the mass production third point development of world motor industry so this is a steps in automobile industry streamlining streamlining means uh, proper uh, what do you say you can say it must be proper by step by step means if i say first engine must be there then clutch place must be there then gearbox must be there these are the streamlining i cannot change the in the place of uh, clutch as a gearbox and gearbox as a clutch i cannot change it this is a streamlining these are the steps and commercial vehicles normally if you are all of you know what are the commercial see about syllabus so what are the topics are there in this automobile engineering syllabus we are going to see that one only okay first one introduction of automobile oh, what is a that's why what is uh, automobile engineering uh, what we are going to learn and what are the classification of automobile like that introduction of automobile second chapter the name is automobile transmission how the transmission is happening uh, how the transmission happen, happening transmission is happening from uh, engine to gearbox between what transmission has happened engine to clutch plate otherwise gearbox to wheel or differential to wheel or propeller shaft to wheel sorry differential or uh, gearbox to propeller shaft how the transmission are happening third one control systems so how the way automobile is controlled by brake and by steering third one suspension systems wheels and tires sorry fourth one suspension systems wheels and tires last one automobile electrical systems and body what are the type of electrical system are used in automobile industry we are going to answer in this automobile so what we are going to see in this chapter classification of automobiles vehicle layout of type and layout and types third one body construction and fourth one is automobile market in india okay this four topics will be there in the introduction of automobile first one is classification of automobile and uh, based on what it is classified uh, example if i want to tell based on wheels it is classified as two wheeler three wheeler four wheeler six wheelers so nowadays so much of wheelers are came just it is classified it is classified through the wheels of the vehicle like that we are going to see the classification of automobile vehicle layout vehicle layout means uh, uh, you know all, the, all of you know there is two type of front engine and rear engine front engine front wheel drive front engine rear wheel drive rear engine uh, rear wheel drive like that we have we are going to see on uh, vehicle layout and types about this only body construction so in the body construction in the skeleton of the body in the skeleton of the car how it is constructed what type of material like that we are going to see and the last one is automobile market in india on roadways uh, what are the industries in automobile we are going to see while transmission so automobile transmission so we are going to see in this chapter four categories first one is clutch second one is gearbox and third one is final drive and fourth one is axle okay so clutch means you know single plate clutch multi plate clutch uh, centrifugal clutch cone clutch we know so much of clutch and uh, in this we are going to see only less one gearbox synchronous gearbox a sliding gearbox like that we have so much of times we are going to see only particular types of gearbox final drive you know propeller shaft and differential there are uh, two characteristics so we are going to see about propeller shaft and differential fourth one is axle so rear axle and front axle stub axle 
so this is a picture which you are which we are going to see if you see here this is the engine this is the wheel differential gearbox gearbox input shaft flywheel and clutch so this is the construct this is the image this is a diagram for the automobile transmission that way to there are two types of control system one is steering system and another one is brake system one is steering system and another one is the brake system if you see the brake system this is the brake system i have given in the image hydraulic braking system okay so how the hydraulic braking system is working like that we are going to see hydraulic brake pneumatic brake and manual brake we are going to see and steering system you are seeing the picture this is a steering system power steering pump pressure tube thyroid pinion gear so we are going to see the steering system in control system is suspension systems wheels and tires okay so how you are seeing in the picture this is a suspension construction uh this are the spring coil spring we are going to see drive axle control arm drum shock absorber transverse rod strut rod okay so these are the small small parts of the suspension construction we are going to see about this next we are going to see about wheels and also about tires two wheels to three, three wheels four wheels and tires also we are going to see in mobile electrical system and body so first one so if you see electrical system uh, without see now so much of uh, parts of electrical have came inside the automotive industry each and everything if you see sensors are there microprocessor electronic systems are there sensors um, identifying lock door is locked or not and uh, what is happening if the seat belt is applied or not like that i microprocessor and as electric lighting system uh, gauges these are the electrical system which are used in the uh, automobile so first one battery we are going to see second one ignition system about ignition system how the electrical system is used we are going to see the circuits and third one starting system fourth one charging system fifth one wiring system sixth one lighting system seventh one gauges the last one is use of microprocessor in automobile control systems see this uh, charging system you know already the charging system means uh, if you run the vehicle the battery will charge automatically okay uh, so this uh, the, how it is charged we are going to see the circuits starting system so you all of you know that uh, see if you see here i'm uh, drawing the picture it will be like this okay it will be sorry so it will be like this so here the battery ground will be connected okay here the battery connection will be there okay so what is this if this is minus and plus if it is connected okay okay if it is connected this only you are going to put the key and you are going to connect this to line then the ground and the power supply will go and it will start the starter motor okay it will start the starter motor so if is this is the uh, construction of uh, starter motor so how we are using this uh, systems in automobile and uh, the circuits will be there for you so you can understand clearly how the starter motor is used to by using the electrical system so this we are going to see in uh, this chapter so these are the i am telling battery ignition system starting system charging system wiring system lighting system gauges gauges means speedometer uh, fuel gauges how much fuel is inside that gauges everything is working under the electrical system only we are going to see about that also use a microprocessor in automobile control system already i have told you uh, 
the sensor how the sensors are working that will be kind of come under the microprocessors okay so now next slide so these are the construction of car electrical system control measuring device that is only gauges voltage regulator accumulator wires clamp accumulator like that we are giving starter wiring generator belt generator okay so now what jobs i will get by uh, when i finish this course if i am doing the i am focusing on the automobile engineering more uh, if i learn more of, of automobile engineering if i am attending the interview what type of jobs i will get designing development fabricating testing vehicles so there are three major function in this field number one is production number two is development and number three is manufacturing so production means if you go any company there will be four categories four categories of work uh, line mean streamlining will be there number one is storeroom number two machine shop number three plating shop number four assembly after assembly again it will come to the store so this is the uh, basic construction of each and every companies wherever you go first one is storeroom second one is uh, machine shop third one is plating shop and fourth one is assembly if you see production it will come under the machine shop if you see the development it come under the quality department or design department if you see the manufacturing it will come under the assembly department so in any companies we go if you know about the automobile you can get job at any companies like that okay so course outcome of this subject number one student should able to understand the classification layout and construction of automobile parts and the automobile market in india so you have to know the classification layout and what are the construction of automobile mobile parts and automobile markets in india you, you will able to know number two see utilizing the automotive service tools how to use it and equipments what are the service tools i can use like that you will get you will it, this is the course outcome of this subject third one explain how the various systems of an automobile work you can explain it how it working how you can explain it okay working principle you can say fourth one is follow safety rules of for repair and maintenance of various automotive electrical system and units you see in automobile industry in our mechanical department the most important thing is safety wherever you go whatever the th things if you select okay the safety is the most important things you must handle it properly next one is use standard acceptance test with the help of service manuals okay there will be service manuals accept it and you have to follow it came to the last end of this uh, class so i want to give the summary in this uh, video we have seen about course objective of automobile engineering subject introduction of automobile engineering syllabus of automobile engineering subject explanation of the topics in syllabus so as per the sbt in bihar and what are the jobs are alerted or what are the job will i get when i finish this automobile engineering and last one course outcome so this is the first lecture of uh, this automobile engineering subject so on the next lecture i'm going to continue with classification of automobiles so we will see you on the next class and and again i want to say this whole video i get taken the references from automobile engineering kk jain and rb astana automobile mechanics william crows automobile mechanics srinivasan and automotive technology hm seddi okay so these are the references if you have some reference you can go through it and get some more idea which are not in this video just always be creative minded okay you have to learn more not only this is the introduction you can get more thing in the in your own effort also okay thank you all once again and uh, um this is the end of this video i thank you all to listening this video 
if you have any doubts any uh, suggestion you can give me on the comments box i'm ready to replay for you and i think so i have explained and i give some short uh, explanation about the automobile engineering subject so thank you once again and thank you all